Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, my name is Karen, Karen Hapish, and if it's the first time being here, welcome, or everyone, welcome back, because it's been exactly a year since I left YouTube. It can be sound like a big YouTuber, I'm not. I started small and then I just disappeared. I came back because I wanted to come back, and I missed YouTube, and I missed everything. And I wanted to start with like a vlog but I didn't see a vlog as something necessary you know like how can I be gone for like a whole year and then come back and poof you see a vlog from me it honestly didn't make sense so I said to comment on here and talk to the internet about why I left um, and my life for the past year, what well, I've been talked for like the past one year. Not that you care, but yeah. <laughs> so after like I posted my last video, I disappeared, as we all know. I disappeared and I was going to shoot another video, I swear. I swear I was gonna shoot another video. But what happened? What happened was that I was shooting with my phone, right? And editing my phone and my phone didn't have like a lot of space and so editing and filming wasn't and exporting it was just a lot of stress from the fact that I had to clear up everything on my phone all the time to see all my apps Instagram snapchat whatsapp everything just so I could export a video and after exporting the video I'll then come on <sighs> It was just a lot it was a lot so I left it I was I just stopped and I kept on saying I was gonna come back I was gonna get a camera and come back which I did I was gonna get a new laptop I was gonna get a new camera and I was just gonna come back to YouTube with a bang <laughs> I was gonna come back with a bang and that didn't happen I have had my camera for three four months and I've had my laptop for literally almost a year and I still hadn't done anything until now so it wasn't because of the phone honestly it was a lot like for the past year I was contemplating if I really wanted to come back to YouTube you know if I wanted to start this journey of YouTube like start afresh and all that stuff and I do like I really do want to but you know as a small tiny miniature YouTuber. I was trying to be like one of the big ones. I was trying to behave like them. I was trying to do what they do. I hadn't found my niche and there was so much and I did, I felt like I was trying to be who I wasn't. I was trying to be funny. I am funny sometimes but I was trying to be funny and interactive to people who just didn't know me to so like the internet and all that stuff and it just wasn't working like it wasn't working it didn't feel good instead of bringing people just push people away apparently people enjoyed a couple of my videos like one or two people and I didn't even know that was like me my video that video but it did so that made me feel so good but it didn't give me like enough conviction to like come back to youtube like for good for good um after that there was so much that went on i became like anxiety i actually started therapy yeah i've been in therapy for like three four months now i'm very open about me being in therapy not everyone knows but like i'm very open about me being in therapy and it's been amazing like honestly it's been amazing i my school offers me therapy for free so that's it like a check 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 because i don't gotta pay for no you know what I'm i don't have to pay for like a hundred hundred dollars per hour so because i don't have to pay i use my opportunity you know it's been helpful i've come to like realize my strengths my weaknesses how i feel about things how to work towards things how to how to just be in things you know like suicidal thoughts depression anxiety 
I don't think I have depression, just so you know. I don't think I have depression. I think I have more of anxiety and a crippling of fear. Um, I have more of anxiety and it crumbles me a lot. This is me being vulnerable to people I don't even know. It crumbles me a lot and makes me unhappy. You know, and then leads towards like my low key suicidal thoughts. Don't worry, I've never tried to take my life. It's just sometimes you just think about it, about ending it because if you really think about it, life is stressful. Like for the rest of my life, I will be feeling this way. I will be feeling anxious. I will be feeling like I don't deserve it. I will be feeling so many things. Do I really, really, really want to feel like that for the rest of my life? Do I? So those are pretty much most of the thoughts, suicidal thoughts I have or I have had. We have so much unsolved and ununderstood traumas and unaddressed things in our hearts, in our head, in our emotions that we don't even know we do. We don't even know how we feel. We don't know how we behave towards particular things. And I would recommend therapy. It doesn't have to be for as long as I have had mine. It doesn't have to be. It can be for like a month. It can be for like two weeks, you know. If you have like issues sorting things out, figuring things out, I recommend therapy. Yeah. I will. I will. It's been helpful for me, so I will. Another thing is picking on my niche for YouTube was a problem because I wanted to do everything. I saw YouTube saying I wanted to make reviews, which I did. I did want to make reviews because I thought like at that time people were making reviews and they were not actually being extremely honest. Do you understand? Like they were being honest but not to the core. So I thought, you know, let me just do reviews. I do review of things. I'll try, you know, like you see my frontal try on video. That was my first ever trying a frontal, frontal, and it was a mess. It was an epic fail. <laughs> that video still makes me laugh. It was an epic fail. That was because. Everywhere you go, everyone's like, oh, you just do this, you just do that, you just do that, and you're done. Like, they make me feel like I can do it. Like, I'm a superhero. You know what I'm saying? They make me feel like I'm a superhero. I tried it, and it just wasn't, pull the glue, and then where you land. It wasn't like that. It, it wasn't. It just wasn't. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was, like, what I wanted to do. Views. And vlogs because i like vlogs i like vlogs a lot i feel unsure so now i'm like with therapy and like we having all the equipments that i need and no ex no excuses i was like i can really carve up my own corner of the internet you know it doesn't have to be public it doesn't have to be for like branding to like notice me it doesn't have to be it's just like this corner of the internet is for me it's for me to come back to whenever i feel down it's for me to look back at when i'm growing it's for me to be like to so, like a year from now i can look back and like damn karen like damn karen like that was what happened like then like you've grown so much because i wanted to like save these memories on the internet for me. I want to to cover my own corner because I don't want to, I don't have to be like everyone else. I don't have to bring out as much contact as everyone else does. I just have to do what works for me. I'm not comfortable with the camera yet, but like I'm a low key model and I want to be comfortable with the camera. So I'm not perfect. My YouTube is gonna be trash ish. It's gonna flunk weight my youtube is gonna be for people who want to see me grow gonna for people who are struggling with growing because i also i'm i'm trying to learn how to be vulnerable to be honest not just like with the internet but like with myself that's why i said my own corner of the internet where it's just for me where i can be vulnerable to people and then i might get hit but whatever it's like i am growing i want to like take more pictures because like i study visual arts in case you don't know I, i'm an, i'm in nigeria studying visual arts yeah <laughs> yeah so i want to do that i just 
I want to be happy. One of the real reasons, one of the, like the major reasons for me to come back and be vulnerable is so that people who are unsure can see that I'm also very unsure. It's like me willing to like share my life with people that I don't know from Adam and I'm willing to tell them, to show them that I hate life too. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't understand what I'm doing. I don't know what to do. I feel anxious. I'm scared. Who would believe like I'm turning 20 in like a couple of months? It is like I'll be 20. Like I'm a full blown adult and I don't feel like it. I feel like a child. So if you're willing to tag along, which love you would, please tag along. <laughs> Hold on and just wait for my next video. Like my next video will most likely be a vlog. Um a lot more vlogs after that, but because I'm going on a trip, which I'm so excited for, and I'll tell you all that later. So I'm so I'm so happy to the back to be back and I really hope you enjoy me being back and you enjoy me staying and you stick around. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share and tell me tell me how you've been doing please i want to know how you've been doing if you're in therapy how therapy has been for you if you're thinking about therapy you know how's your life been for like the past year you know yeah anyways yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye